Hey Buy Me A Coffee creators, today we'll be talking about how YouTubers can use Buy Me A Coffee to further connect with their audience and earn extra income. Being a YouTuber is exciting because it allows you to monetize what you're passionate about, but it's important to keep things audience focused and authentic. So all the monetization methods we'll talk about today keep your supporters first while still bringing in some extra cash. First, let's take a look at memberships. Everyone knows what a YouTube subscriber is, but when you think about it, being a subscriber could mean anything from being a casual viewer that tunes in once a month to a loyal supporter that watches every video, regularly leaving comments. Memberships on Buy Me A Coffee can help make sure your most loyal supporters get the recognition they deserve while also supporting you at the same time. Think of memberships as exclusive clubs your audience members pay to join. Generally, you'd set up several with different monthly prices and rewards. Consider setting up two membership levels for your YouTube audience, one for those that want to level up from just being a plain old subscriber, and one for those that want to support you even more and are interested in what you do. So the lower tier, which we can call the enthusiast tier, might include early access to your videos and an exclusive Discord community. But taking things up a notch, the higher supporter tier could include a private Zoom call with you once a month, plus merch delivered to them on a regular basis. Of course, the specifics of what rewards to offer are up to you, but overall, memberships are a great way to monetize your YouTube audience outside of YouTube. And again, it makes perfect sense to offer memberships because there's more types of audience members than subscribed and unsubscribed. Now let's move into shop items. Memberships are great, but sometimes you want to make some content and simply offer it for sale instead of committing to delivering it regularly. This is where the Buy Me A Coffee shop comes into play, and it's your one-stop shop, no pun intended, for selling things online. Let's say you're a photography YouTuber, and you just finished your first Lightroom preset pack for streamlining editing photos. You worked hard on it, spent several months getting it just right, but you don't want to offer it as a membership because, well, you don't know if or when you'll be making a new preset pack. So in this case, you'd want to list it on the Buy Me A Coffee shop. You set a fair price, make the listing appealing with graphics and a description, and voila, it's ready to be bought by your audience. And it's important to point out just how beneficial the shop can be for both creators and audience members. The subscribers of a photography YouTube channel would obviously like the editing style if they're subscribed, and so offering the preset pack helps bring that style to their own photos. And remember, the actual shop items you offer here are completely up to you. Anything you could put behind a one-time transaction works here. Now let's zoom out from specific features like memberships and the shop, and talk generally about what it means to have a Buy Me A Coffee page set up to accompany your YouTube channel. Let's imagine you're a YouTuber that focuses on PC builds, and there's one difficult aspect of building a PC you decided to tackle in a video. Well, if an audience member is having problems and finds your video very helpful, they might just want to tip you. You can't natively send a tip through YouTube, but if you have a Buy Me A Coffee page set up, they know where exactly to go. They'll jump over to your page and buy you a coffee, or maybe two or three depending on how much time you save them with the video. Now, let me expand on how exactly a subscriber would get to your Buy Me A Coffee page. After all, all the monetization methods we talked about are great, but only if your supporters know where to go to get to them. You likely want to put a link to your Buy Me A Coffee page in the link section of your YouTube About page, but you could also put the link in the description of all your videos to make finding it even easier. If you have memberships and a shop set up, you can even add separate links to each of those pages. And it's also recommended you integrate your Buy Me A Coffee page into your content on a regular basis. If your audience helped finance a new piece of gear, it'd be great to thank them in a video and also remind them of your Buy Me A Coffee page where people can get more of your content and also support you at the same time. You can also share updates about your Buy Me A Coffee page, whether it's putting up new memberships or shop items, offering discounts, or sharing messages from your supporters on Buy Me A Coffee. There's plenty of ways to regularly showcase your Buy Me A Coffee page in your videos, and doing so reminds your audience that the two platforms really do go hand in hand. So overall, whether it's using memberships to offer higher levels of support than just subscriber, setting up shop items to offer valuable resources to your audience, or just having a buy me a coffee page set up so people can tip you, there's plenty of ways to make money as a YouTuber through buy me a coffee. It's an excellent resource to accompany your YouTube channel, and if you don't have a buy me a coffee page right now, you can get started and make one today. Buy me a coffee creators, thanks for watching, best of luck with all your creative pursuits, and I'll see you in the next one.